Hey guys, and welcome back. And welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah. Hello. Um, I make lots of what's for dinner videos just like this one. I also make a lot of cook with me, clean with me's, um, beauty, plus size fashion, mom videos, lifestyle videos, all of those types of things. So if you're interested in that, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and join our little family. Um, and today's video is actually going to be like the open collaboration playlist that um, Jen from Cook, Clean, and Repeat and Mandy from Mandy the Making created. And I'm so excited that they did this, not only because I love being able to be a part of this, but also because I am constantly looking for more What's For Dinner videos. They are some of my very favorite videos videos to watch, not only just to get ideas to cook for my family and meals to cook for my family, but also just because I need to get motivated. They're as motivating to me as like clean with me's are, because sometimes I'm just not in the mood to cook. So if I watch a cook with me or a what's for dinner video, it just gets me up and be like, okay, yes, let's Gordon Ramsay, Rachel Ray, in the best way. <laughs> so I'm really excited that they started this and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I've been watching both of their channels for a long time now. Jen from Cook, Clean, and Repeat is actually the person who inspired me to start making once for dinner videos. I thought it was a great idea to um, see what other people are cooking for their families, and I think they're so much fun to film as well. So I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, yeah, let's get started. <music> is one of my very favorite pasta dishes that we have um, all the time. I'm using this Celentani, Celentini pasta, um, but I've used tons of other pastas before, but the main thing you want is a pasta that has ridges so it can hold the sauce. So I'm just dumping these in, bringing them up to a boil, and then I'm taking a whole bottle of tomato sauce, whichever one you want. Um, I'm using the Great Value, it was delicious, and then a whole jar of Alfredo sauce. This sounds like a weird combination, but it is so good because it's like creamy and cheesy and tomatoey all at the same time. You're just going to stir it up. I do season it a little bit with some salt and pepper, and then you're just going to cover it up with some cheese. We were just trying this Italian style cheese for the first time this night, and it was really, really good. I think I'm going to get it for this next couple times when we make it, um, but you're just going to cover that one all up and then pop it in the oven at 350. All right, so once the cheese has melted, this is what your delicious pasta should look like. I topped up with some parsley, but obviously you don't need to do that. Um, this is such an easy, delicious meal, but it's super cheap and it's really customizable. You can add vegetables, meat, what have you, and my kids love it, my husband loves it. It's really, really good. Next. We are having cracked chicken sandwiches. Um, this recipe I see all over Pinterest all the time. So I decided to try it out. I'm taking some garlic powder, onion powder, a whole pack of ranch, ranch, ranch seasoning dressing mix, boneless skin chicken breast, cream cheese, and extra sharp cheddar cheese. I'm just popping in the chicken breast, topping it with a whole pack of the ranch seasoning mix, some garlic powder and onion powder. I didn't measure those two, I just kind of eyeballed it. And then you're going to put some cheddar cheese in. I think it's half a bag, so I think about a cup of cheddar cheese, and then two blocks of cream cheese. And I used the full fat version because I think it would taste better and was creamier, but you could totally go light or fat free if you want. Um, and then you just let this go. It's really, really easy. I just popped it on um, the top lid on it in my Instant Pot. I like to use it as my slow cooker. Um, and I just let it go for a couple hours. And then I just broke up the chicken, mixed it all together, and you got some delicious, super creamy chicken. Now, this recipe did call for bacon, but I, we're not a big bacon eaters. So um, next time I think I'll spice it up and add some like buffalo sauce or something just to add some heat to it, but it was still really good. We had it on croissants with some, some uh, side of watermelon and it was delicious. This is a really good summer meal and I think will please just about everybody so Definitely give it a try. Next, we went to Chick-fil-A. It was one of those nights, guys. Um, I got the Cobb salad. I always take off the crumbled bacon and the corn, but this is one of my favorite meals from Chick-fil-A and I use the avocado lime ranch dressing, guys. It is so good. 
This next meal is a meal I've made before on my channel, but I'm making them again because I get asked all the time what these meatballs are um, when I bring them to places. Basically, the sauce is just honey, minced garlic, soy sauce, ketchup, and brown sugar. You just mix that together in a bowl and you get this really thick, delicious sauce. And then the meatballs are the great value homestyle meatballs. They do have the Italian ones, but for me, the homestyle ones are far better and they're super inexpensive. I just pop those in my slow cooker or my instant pot, but I put it on slow cooker mode. These are fully cooked, so really you're just heating them through and getting the caramelization on the meatballs with that juicy, delicious sauce. You just pour them over, toss to coat, and then let them do their business. I leave them in there for a couple of hours, and they are so good. This is my husband being a little but <laughs> anyway they're really really yummy these are great as just by themselves as little appetizers but we actually put them on little rolls and my husband was showing you where he was gonna put them he cut sliced it down the middle and they were yummy there's something that's different than like a meatball marinara sub um it's it's sweeter and delicious now this time uh this night we had a dinner over at my parents house we have family dinners every single week and we were having a big like mexican fiesta and it was so delicious my brother cooked out on the grill he grilled up some shrimp and peppers and onions and some fajitas and peppers and onions i know they do not look appetizing but guys they were delicious um we also had some tamales and some flour tortillas and homemade guacamole and I had one of these Shiner Ruby Redbird beers and they were so yummy. He uses frozen beef strips from Walmart, super inexpensive and you would never know they were frozen. They are delicious and super tender. I highly recommend. Next and lastly, we're coming on to goulash night. So this is the first time that I ever made goulash um, and it was, it was really easy and it was really good but it kept tripping me up because I felt like I was making chili so anyway I took two pounds of ground beef in my Dutch oven chopped up two full onions this I will tell you will feed an army so this is definitely something that you can like bring over to neighbors or somebody who's needing some food have it at a party potluck I mean it'll last forever I got all that sauteed together, put in two cups of water, one cup of beef stock, I added two cans of diced tomatoes, and a whole big can of uh, tomato sauce. Brought that kind of up to a little bit of a simmer, and then I started adding um, the rest of my like seasonings. I did add a ton of Worcestershire sauce. I ended up going back and adding way more because I love Worcestershire sauce. It is so yummy to me. Um, I added a good chunk of garlic, and I actually went and added more of that too. Um, I added, seasoning wise, I added a bunch of pepper, some salt, I went back later and added some garlic salt, um, I added garlic powder, oregano, and Italian seasoning, and let me tell you, I feel like the measurements on those were way too much. I definitely will cut back next time. Um, and then I did add cayenne pepper because I love adding cayenne to everything, and three bay leaves and bringing that up to a simmer to get all those flavors married together. And then I just added two cups of macaroni pasta or elbows and guys, so easy. Let that cook in the liquid and it was really, really good. We just had it with a delicious bowl of fruit salad that I made. And once you just pop up some cheese on the bowl to melt it up and let me tell you, mm, delicious. And that'll be it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please go check out the rest of the videos on this playlist from Mandy and Jen. I will have it linked below as well as their channels if you've never seen them, but I'm sure you have because they're amazing. And once again, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and joined our little family. And I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye guys.